the alignment now of the Shangsha and the Mang. I also here to acknowledge the dedication of Ao Changsha and St. Paul uh, Friendship Garden. But this this is a garden that will also connect us to our group and in China and to our ancestor. So this is an important project. May I mom? We are mom. <laughs>
So Uncle Charles, uh, typically what happens in the community is when something like this uh, comes into play within our community, we would have an elder from the community, a respected elder, will come and bless the area uh, to welcome all the elements that's going to make this uh, garden a very successful now and into the future. Uh, Nyoro Nyo Bây Okay guys, next we will have a performance by the Hmong Culture Center uh, Feng or Lucian Dance Team. Yeah. <laughs> 
to join with Wei Ming Lu and make our cities of Changsha and St. Paul twins. But it was even a greater fortune when in the 1970s, the Hmong people chose to come to St. Paul. And our city and our community has never been richer, has never been more beautiful. And the alignment now of the Changsha and the Hmong, our first state senator in America who is Hmong, our first representative, our first physician, our first lawyer. And if you go to the hospital a lot, which I have lately, you will meet many Hmong who are there performing the medical profession function. St. Paul is better and richer and more beautiful because of all of you. Thank you very much. Thank you so much, Mayor Latimer. And I also want to recognize one of our advisors, Robert Jacobson, who has arrived, a former curator of the Asian Art Collection at the Minneapolis Institute of Art. Now, as many of you know, we have a... Oh, thank you. As many of you know, we have a rich Hmong community here in St. Paul. And we have discovered through research that uh, there is a large population of Hmong in China and specifically in Changsha, Hunan province. There's almost two million Niaozu or uh, Hmong in, in China, in, in Hunan province. And the Minnesota Hmong trace their ancestral roots back to China and to uh, the famous Emperor Churyo many thousands of years ago. So you're going to learn more about that, that um, famous figure in a little bit. But next I'd like to introduce to you, and I'm honored to introduce to you, Senator Fung Her. First of all, I want to say that my memory is not as sharp as uh, former Mayor Joe Latimer. So I'm going to use note here to help me out. So <laughs> uh, Welcome to the Eastside St. Paul and welcome to the Dragon Bowl Festival. It's been uh, 18 years since the uh, uh, Pan Asian tradition happened here at Plague Phelan. I too have been part of the festival early on, uh, leading a Dragon Bowl team to uh, promote the message of clean waters. So I applaud the Dragon Boat uh, team leaders and also the organizer because it's not easy trying to get everybody synchronized and have uh, firm paddlers together. Today as the state standard of this area, I am honored to be in front of you for the first time. And I also here to acknowledge the dedication of our Changsha and St. Paul uh, friendship garden. This friendship garden, as I said earlier, it's a long time coming since the 1980s when George Latimer, former George Lat Latimer, met with the Chinese de delegation from uh, from Hunan, China. And I would be remiss uh, not to mention Joy Xiao, who is playing a very important role, and she's here with us today as well. And I'm, I'm glad that we are here together today with multi ethnic representation, looking forward for the outcome of the friendship garden between our two sister cities. As a Hmong descent, I'm even heartfelt, hoping to see the symbol of culture exchange between the ancestral home of my people and the home of my people today in St. Paul. At the same time, I thank the indigenous caretaker of this lake and this land for keeping the environment healthy, so that today, today is surrounding is worthy of contemporary Middle Earth where we have culture exchange of East and West. So have a good day and have a good outcome here. May the good outcome here be up on us here at Faden Lake. So thank you 
Thank you all today. Thank you, Senator Hurd. And now I'd like to re uh, introduce to you Representative Tim Mahoney. At events like this, um, people that have election certificates and uh, are in public get a lot of accolades. But what I really want to say thank you to is the Park Department, the rec Park and Rec Department, Director Hahn, the architects that are spread throughout, and, and the project managers that are spread throughout the audience. They never get enough, and they have done really great work with the architects, with the community, with the committee. So they should all get a round of applause. And thank you, Alice. Thank you, Brian. Thank you, thank you uh, Mike. In today's world, in today's world, we don't have enough cultural diversity uh, uh, interaction. And the China Garden, or the Changsha St. Paul Garden, is a place where not just the East Side gets to come, but we have. Asian families, Asian population that live in Fridley, and Woodbury, and Eden Prairie, and Hastings. And this can and should be and will be a center, a place where they can come and celebrate their heritage. Not only for the Hmong, not only for someone from Hanyu province, but from all of Asia. All of Asia, and that's more than a quarter of the population in the world. And all of our large corporations, all 19 Fortune 500 companies, have a presence. And hopefully they take advantage of this. Because this is a wonderful and gorgeous park. And the, China, and the uh, Friendship Garden, after we have done acres and acres of re reclamation and upgrading of this park, and cleaning the water and cleaning the areas, and work on the, uh, on the channel here, this will be just one more of our friendship garden, I, I, I'm sorry, of our, of our master, Phelan master plan list. We have 20 or 25 items on that list. This is one of them, it's a huge issue for us. And as we move this forward, all those other 10, 15 or 20 that we should do, we can do, we'll continue to progress through. Today is a day of celebration for this one. I hope we have many celebrations of the rest of these, uh, uh, the rest of the uh, master plan for failing. And again, thank you to all the people who have worked on this, from uh, the people on the stage, the people who started it, to the people who will continue it after we have moved off of this, this particular stage. So thank you for being here today. Thank you, Representative Mahoney. And now it's my great pleasure to introduce someone who's been very helpful to us in preparing the Sister City Gift Exchange, which we hope to announce in a few weeks, Council Member Dai Tao. Thank you. Um, first of all, I really want to give a uh, wonderful shout out to Mayor Lenimer and his wife Nancy for, um, for if you're among American, uh, we wouldn't be here without his leadership and support in the early days in the uh, resettlement uh, from Laos uh, to uh, the United States to Minnesota. Thank you, sir. Thank you so much. I want to thank Senator Fongha, State Representative Mahoney, for their leadership in uh, getting that $50,000 because money doesn't come easy to the city of St. Paul. And so we greatly appreciate your support and we hope that you'll continue to get us millions of dollars to get this project done. Um, I want to... Uh, I want to thank Bhutan uh, Yisei and his leadership, their board, and bringing the Hmong community together to support this project. I want to thank Linda, Romy, and Bill for their uh, tireless work uh, to, uh, to get this uh, project going. Uh, I want to thank my fellow council member, Dan Bostrom, uh, who is uh, uh, a great champion on the east side, and for uh, Phelan Park. Um, I want to thank Noah and Kayang and, the, and their entire team uh, for uh, organizing the community to support this project. Um, a shout out to Director Mike Hom and Ellis from Park and Rec 
for um, their effort and their support and their energy in putting this project together. I also want to thank our, our Irish, our Swede, our German, our Norwegian, our Italian and African American brother and sister who came before us who helped shape this city of St. Paul to the way that it is so that it can have an open arm to new immigrants such as the Hmong community. Um, I want to thank the Chinese American community for being an ally in this. I want to thank the Hmong American community for your support and your uh, 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 donation as we go forward. That's going to be really important. And, and as a Hmong American, this day is, is important to me. It's, it's meaningful in that this is our country now. And though we were one time refugees, we are now Americans. We have started, we, we have taken new roots in this country and we've cared for this country, this city, and this state. But this, this is a garden that will also connect us to our root and, and China and to our ancestor. So this is an important project for the city of St. Paul um, and for uh, the Hmong community. In St. Paul, we are all hardworking and we know that our diversity is our strength that has gotten us this far. Um, this garden, it's a symbol of that strength. It's a symbol of that unity and vitality that we have in St. Paul for now and for generations to come. But let's not stop here. There's still a lot of hard work to do. A lot of room for you all to get involved in, uh, in this sort of project. It's gonna take everybody. So I invite all of you to get involved. Thank you so much. Now, it is my honor to introduce our next speaker. Um, it is said that a bird has a nest and a, and a, a sea has a tree. And it is also true that in the Hmong community, uh, we have many leaders. Um, and so one of those leaders that I, I have a great deal of respect for, for his racial equity work, his social justice, and his work in the community is uh, 18 Council President Va Hua Vu. Please give him a, uh, a round of applause. Nyo <laughs> Zhong. Hello again, friends, families, community leaders, and guests. First of all, I want to say thank you to Linda and your team and partners here in St. Paul and there in Changsha, China. Thank you to the public officials and individuals involved in this hardworking effort to make this site dedications for this wonderful St. Paul Changsha China Friendship Garden possible today. As president of the Monk, 18 clans president or council of Minnesota, we are aware of this garden being built in our neighborhood and park. Our organization truly believes that with the garden to include different elements of both cultures from Minnesota and China, will strengthen and establish new friendship, encourage new boundaries of cooperations and best of building new bridges and understanding between two unfamiliar sister city, St. Paul and Changsha. As Minnesotans, we always welcome new ideas. Certainly, French Garden is in this new idea. Therefore, we stand by to support this friendship garden which this garden symbolizes a new beginning for our sister city going forward. And our community blessed to have the new partners that will be created in this friendship garden project. And thank you and have a wonderful day.
Thank you. So once again, I want to thank my wonderful team behind me. And I want to thank Chang Sha, who I hopefully we will be broadcasting this to them as well. So thank you. And also a special thank you again to Carol Heider for the feng shui ritual and to Uncle Charles for the Hmong blessing. Thank you all for a wonderful day.